Oh, Pascal, it's not that bad in here. Hey guys, it's me, Minori, and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So with everything going on around right now, I've been inside my house for a very long time. And I thought to myself, I feel like Rapunzel. Guys, I know for some of you, it's really hard to just stay inside and do nothing for a very long time. I mean, it's great to be able to go out and have some fun, go shopping, meet up with friends, but it's just not the perfect time to do it. And if Rapunzel can stay at home for 17 years, I think we can do it too. And my god, she's a very artsy girl. So now we're officially stuck at home. Not only does she cook and clean her house, she paints, she plays a guitar, and like everything. She does basically everything you can do at home. And I think it is the perfect time to recreate it because the outside is a very scary place right now. <sighs> Today is going to be yet another challenge and a very long video. Today we're going to be following Rapunzel's everyday routine. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to check the song to see what she's actually doing. 7 a.m. the usual morning line. <laughs> so she does chores, sweep, polish and wax, do laundry, mop and shine up, sweep again in 15 minutes. Um, that's a little insane. Anyways, read a book. Play guitar, knit, cook, puzzles, darts, baking, paper mache, a bit of ballet, chess, pottery, ventriloquy, candle making, stretch, sketch, climb, sew a dress, reread, I'll have time to spare, paint the walls, and lastly, brush the hair. Here's all the stuff I need to do today. That's a lot of stuff. Will I be able to do these all? I don't know, but I'll try my best. By the way, this is an apron. Isn't it so cute? It looks like a dress. Anyways, first thing first, I'm going to do my chores. And I'm done. So chores check. Read a book two or three. What do I have here? Uh-huh. Read a book. Check. Now I'm supposed to be playing a guitar. I bought a guitar on Amazon for real cheap and this is what I got. Apparently I'm supposed to build this all up but I have no clue how it works. I don't even play guitar and I'm not supposed to be playing any instrument at my apartment. So, um... Done. Next up, knitting. I decided to crochet and I decided to make something really, really small. I've done some knitting before, but seriously, it takes forever to make one thing. Like, it could literally take a few weeks to even months to create something simple, even like a scarf. It's just really time consuming and I knew that I wouldn't be able to finish anything too complicated as I only have a day and I still have a lot of things to do. This time I decided to crochet a little bow. It only takes like 5 to 10 minutes. It's really easy and cute. You can put it on your dolls or you can put like a little pin to it and make it into a hair accessory. There's so many ways to use this. I'm actually reading the instructions while making this bow as it's my first time making it. Today's challenge is about stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something new. I'm exploring to see what I can and can't do. If I can't, great. If I like it, I may add it on my hobby list and pursue it later on. Once I made the bow, I tried making it once again, this time without looking at the instructions. And I was able to make it from memory, so I guess I leveled up. This took about 20 to 30 minutes tops. Knitting, check. And next up, cooking. Next up, puzzles. There are 108 pieces. Very sparkly and cute. I'm going to get the corners first. Corner, corner, flip it all over. I think it's going to take me like 30 minutes to an hour, guessing. 
corner. Since today is all about Rapunzel, I bought this super cute Rapunzel puzzle online. It's hollow and sparkly and oh my gosh, so cute. That took me about 40 minutes and next up, darts. <laughs> I need to play darts. Hey, not bad. Okay. And on to baking. Today I decided to bake cream puffs. Let me say I am not a baker. And again, I am stepping out from my comfort zone. There's so many things wrong. Like first off, I need a bigger bowl to mix all this. But this is all I had. Or I had to use a ramen bowl. And no, I wasn't going to use that. I also added in too much water without realizing and the dough wasn't looking like how it was supposed to. So a lot of things went wrong with my first batch. So I actually redid everything again off camera. This was my first batch. And this is my second batch. Moral of the story. Guys, if things go wrong, don't give up on the first try. Really keep trying until you're satisfied. So, baking, check. Yes, more artsy stuff. Now it's time to paper mache. I'm here mixing glue and water and... I'll be using the balloon as the base. Hmm, I don't know guys. I haven't really paper mache since I was like, five and I wasn't sure what to make with this. I mean Rapunzel made like a face mask in the movie so that's what I decided to make. A mask. But what kind of mask? And oh my god I didn't realize how messy this was going to be. Like water and glue dripping everywhere, hand getting all muddy. Oh my gosh it was so messy. I wish I'd realized it earlier so I would have put something on the table. I mean it's just non-toxic glue and water. I knew it was going to be very easy to wipe and clean so I didn't stress too much about it. But if I were to do it again I'd definitely keep that in mind. I kept piling some newspaper onto the balloon and smoothed it all out. And after like three to four layers, I decided to put it aside for it to dry. And I put it aside actually for a few hours. And I did go on with my other activities. But let me edit this second half into here. It's just going to make more sense. So after it was all dried up, it was time to pop the balloon. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Why is this so intense? And now we go. Can you hear that? Oh my gosh, it's so crinkly. I didn't know it's going to be like crunchy. <laughs> Anyways, the paper mache was fine. Now that the base is ready, let's move on to painting. So, where were we? What should I make this into? I thought about No Face or Kaunashi from Spirited Away or like Haku's face mask from Naruto. Oh my gosh, so geeky. <laughs> but today I decided to make it into Pokemon. I mean, the shape was very round and I wanted to make something that fit the face and I like Pokemon, so yes, Squirtle it is. I kept using my hair dryer to speed dry because I've been having a long day and I wanted to be able to finish it today. I mean, Rapunzel does it in a day, I do it in a day. I'm just putting in some details here and there, and my Squirtle face mask is complete. <laughs> I need to dance ballet and play chess. Okay, fun fact about me, I danced ballet when I was younger, and I used to dance with Mari from Smosh. It was actually her mother's ballet school, so yes, I knew her since I was five. needed exercise. I haven't been dancing for like 10 years. Probably more than that, like 15 years. Anyways, I need to play chess. I have no clue what this site is. I don't have a clue about chess. I only know how they move, but I guess it was set to level two and it was just so weak. I guess I won. Yay. <laughs> I won. What do we have next? Pottery. This was actually what I've been looking forward to today. 
pottery. Again, this is my first time making pottery and way out of my comfort zone. I bought all these online just for this video. So, you know how real pottery, there's this machine that rotates for you? Those cost like hundreds of dollars and I wasn't ready to invest in that. Instead, I got this hand turning table thing, which is also used for pottery, but it's a lot cheaper. It's very, very different from how you would make with an electric one. I know this video seems like I made this all in a day, and yes, I did film this in a day, but starting from all the planning and researching, it actually took about two to three weeks. Like, I had to look everything up and see what I need, I had to buy everything, and I also had research on how to make everything in each genre because I was a noob for almost everything. So while I did research about this pottery thing beforehand, it was not going like I wanted it to. At first, I wanted to make like a cup. Like a mug cup. However, while I was making it, I noticed that the cup kept getting bigger, and it would slowly start opening up and turn more into like a soup bowl. I was like, alright, it could be a soup bowl. Maybe it could just be a soup bowl. But it was becoming very flimsy. I wasn't happy with it, so I decided to start again. I was determined to make a cup. And while it was working a little bit better, it was still not going as planned. So I restarted again. And look guys, it turned into a soup bowl again. Like why? I was so careful not to make it bigger, but it kept opening up. Also, since it's not electric, it wasn't working like how I wanted it to, so I decided to go to YouTube for help. And you know what guys? I found out what I was doing wrong. Seriously, YouTube is like my teacher for everything. I needed to make the base thick. Like, a lot more thick. And now that the base is ready, I can now build on top of it. And when I fuse it together, I need to pinch it, but when I'm pinching it, I need to pinch it inwards. Apparently, it's very easy to open up, so there's a way of pinching to prevent that. And look guys, it's actually becoming to look like a cup. It's getting taller. Like, it's not opening up anymore. Again, like I said before, if something's not going right, keep on trying. Even if the second or third time isn't working out, practice makes perfect. I mean, this is not perfect in any way, but you will learn, so really keep on working. You will definitely see a result someday, and I'm just glad to see how it's working out. Oh, this is the fun part! Now that the cup is tall enough, we need to take off the excess and level the cup. So, we want to have a steady hand and slowly rotate and press it in and the top would just come off. Isn't it so cool? I don't know why, but it's so mesmerizing. I also didn't have the right tools, so I'm using random stuff that I have at home. So I'm using scissors to smooth the inside, and I also used the string that came with the guitar set to cut off the cup from the base. I'm sure I'm not going to use that guitar string. It's not even a real guitar string. It was just like a string. And our cup is complete. I just need to put it into the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh my god, I need a break. So I decided to play hide and go seek with my hamsters. But it didn't go too well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> 5, 4, Three, two, one. <laughs> You're still here. Ventriloquy. Minori sucks. You look like a mixture of Beauty and the Beast. I hate your voice. Oh, he's my new pet hater, by the way. What do we have next? Candle making. Yes, more artsy stuff. Now on to candle making. I decided to just buy a kit. I found this really cute candle making kit on Amazon. It's really, really simple to make. It comes with all these cute glass beads and colored sands and a lump of jelly candle. First, you just pour in the sand, however you want it. You can mix it, you can layer it, just however you like. And then add in the beads and the small glass charms. This is how mine looks like. I'm setting up this hot plate to heat up and melt the jelly candle. 
this jelly thing is so squishy, it's so fun. So while I'm waiting for it to melt, let me just play some game. Wait a sec, I'm almost done! And slowly pour it in. So candle making, check. I actually like how it turned out. It's still hot, very hot. Next up, sew a dress. You know what? I am not going to sew a dress. Instead, I'm going to make a mask because that's what we really need the most. Don't worry guys, I cleaned my desk real nice even with my precious alcohol wipes. And I also put on gloves while making this mask. I was thinking about giving this to a friend because I have a few for myself that I've made for myself before, but this one, it just didn't turn out that great. Probably because I had gloves on, the quality wasn't too great, so I guess I'm just going to use it myself. Anyways, this is a pretty standard mask. I put a wire in the nose part so it fits your face. Okay, I know guys, I know some of you are going to say that a mask isn't going to prevent anything. It's true and I understand that, but I do also think that it's better than nothing. And I'm sure you guys know that masks are very rare and hard to find right now. So if you guys are in desperate need of a mask, maybe you can try making one for yourself. So stay safe guys! Wear a mask, use gloves, stay at home, and wash your hands. Let's just do whatever we can all do by ourselves. So sewing, check, stretch, check, and reread books. Lastly, I'm going to paint the wall. I'm going to use a wall sheet once again and use tapes on the side so I won't get paint on the wall whatsoever. Have you guys seen Tangled before? Because if you haven't, just go watch right now. But basically Rapunzel paints this beautiful painting on the wall of her looking at the floating lanterns. And that is what I'm going to try and recreate today. If you've seen that painting, you would know that Rapunzel has a very unique painting technique. Like she doesn't really blend in the colors. You can see the brush strokes very well, so I'm going to try and recreate that as well. And I know I have a lot of paint on my palette. I am a self-taught artist and I've never really learned art before, but I did take a semester of art class for, you know those classes you can choose when you have no other classes to take and you have all the credits? That class is the only art related class I've ever taken before and in that class I learned one thing. I learned to never be stingy for art. Okay. This is what I learned and what I believe, and I'm not going to say you need expensive things to make art, but making art is very expensive. A lot of people tell me that I use way too much paint, but you know once you mix a color, it's very hard to make the same exact color. You can make something similar, very similar, but it will be a bit off. You can prevent that by mixing a lot of paint in the beginning. You may not use all of the paint at the end, and it seems like you're kind of wasting it, but I learned that that's part of the art. So when I'm painting, I try to use a little too much paint. Anyways, you know what? After all these challenges today, I have a new perspective of Mother Gothel. I mean, she's a kidnapper and she's a mean person and all, but seriously, Rapunzel having all these crafty supplies, like the pottery thing, candles, all the paint, like, it's not cheap. That is a lot of money. And remember how Mother Gothel went out for three days of trip to buy paint for Rapunzel? Like, I don't think I would even go on a three day trip for myself. Yeah, she's a villain, but I don't think she's just a cold hearted villain. So my painting is almost done. I just have to add in Rapunzel and her gorgeous hair.
and then I'll brush and brush and brush and brush my hair and I am done with the routine. So we're finally done! I don't know how Rapunzel does this every single day. I mean, I still need to meet the love of my life and go see the lanterns. I still have a lot to do today. Please, Eugene, if you're out there, I'm waiting. If you guys are really bored or if you don't know what to do, maybe you can follow Rapunzel's routine as well. You might find or learn something new. I had a lot of fun. I mean, I'm really happy with how my painting turned out. Anyways, Today was yet another long video and another challenge. If you guys are interested in these weird challenges or see me do weird stuff, please subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!